Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on using Thyssen polygons in Manhouse in a solar system in ArcMap. Thyssen polygons are a powerful tool for understanding the flow of wastewater through a solar network and can help identify areas that may require maintenance or repairs. In this tutorial, I will explore how to create Thyssen polygons in ArcMap using Manhouse locations like this. To do this, we have to follow some steps over here. Now I am creating a new datasheet over here. The first step is to import the manhole data into the ArcMap. So first go to here, click on add data, navigate to the folder where the manhole data is stored. Select the manhole file, shape file, click OK. Once the manhole data is imported, I will create Thyssen polygons around each manhole. This process can be done using the Create Thyssen polygons tool in ArcMap. To access this tool, go to Arc Toolbox first. So go to Catalog, click on System Toolboxes then extract the analysis tools click on proximity then create thyssen polygons a pop up menu appear over here in the create thyssen polygons dialog boxes select the manual data as the input feature Go to Artificial Classes, choose a location, choose a name uh, for the output in polygons. Click on save, click on OK. The process is ongoing over here. Now you can see that Thyssen polygons has been created for each manhole. We can calculate the area in the Thyssen polygons. The area of Thyssen polygons can be calculated using this software. So to calculate the area of Thyssen polygons in magma, follow some steps. Open the activity wheel of the Thyssen polygons from here. Right click on over here, go to open activity table, create a field over here, click on add field, give the new field a name such as area, select double, then click on OK. Right click on the new field and select calculate geometry. Now you can see that over here the unit is unvisible. So you have to change the position first. So do that. Go to catalog menu. Click on data management tools. Click on projection. Define position first. Input this Thyssen polygons shape file. You can see that over here, coordinate system is unknown. So I am selecting this coordinate system over here. My coordinate system is WGS1984 ATM zone 46 north. So I am selecting this one. Then click on OK. The position has been defined over here. Now I am going to over here and go to October table. Right click on over here. Click on calculate geometry. Now you can see that the unit has been visible over here. You can choose your appropriate units from here. There is a lot of uh, units. I am selecting my units as a square meters. So click on OK. 
now you can see that the area of east Hessian polygon will now be displayed in the area field in the active table thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and for your support i really appreciate it and i hope that you have gained valuable insights and knowledge that you can apply to your own projects and endeavors if you have any questions or feedback, please don't hesitate to leave a comment or reach out to my directly. I am always here to help and support you on your journey towards success. Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.